And Otana comes out. Tanaka was laying down on his bed, looking up to the ceiling. There were many thoughts running through his mind. He was thinking about coming out to everyone on the volleyball team. He finally felt comfortable telling them. Now all he had to do was tell his boyfriend, Inashida, about it. He pulled out his phone to call him. Phone call between Tanaka and Inashida. Hello? Hey babe. Hmm. Did my handsome boyfriend desperately want to hear my voice again? S shut up. That only happened one time and because I was sick. I found it really adorable though. Hehe. <laughs> Just don't tell any of the guys that I said that. I don't want them knowing that about my cutesy side. Well, obviously. Only I should know about your cutesy side. Plus, we're not out yet so of course I wouldn't tell them. Oh right, about that. Hmm. I think I'm ready to come out to them about our relationship now. Are you sure? Yes. Definitely. Wow. Now I'm actually excited to go to school on Monday. I think everything will go well. Yeah, me too. Especially now that I am confident in myself. I'm so happy for you. My confident little boy. Ugh. You sound like my mom. And Seiko. PFFT. Sorry. They both chuckled into the phone. So, you're all so ready to come out right? Yeah. I am. I have been for a while. Good. Then I will see you tomorrow at school? Aw, oh, you're leaving already? Oh. I, I mean I don't have to go if you don't want me to. Pet, I can tell by your voice that you're getting shy. Why do you always tease me so much? You make it so easy. The couple continued their conversation for the next four hours doing everything from joking around, flirting, and studying, which Inashida forced Tanaka to do. They were both excited for tomorrow. Tanaka was a bit anxious when he arrived at school. He thought about what they would say or how they could reveal to their friends that they were dating. He also wanted to confess to them that he was bisexual. He didn't have to, but he wanted to. Throughout the day, Inashida encouraged and cheered Tanaka on by randomly texting him and surprising him at a few classes before practice would begin. He knew that Tanaka was probably stressed out and anxious so he tried his best to calm him down. Tanaka always appreciated his boyfriend for this. During the three months that they had been dating, Inashida was always supportive. Even after all the times Tanaka annoys him, Inashida also had his really strict side. But they both seemed to manage the relationship well. Dot dot dot. A few minutes before volleyball practice began, Tanaka and Inashida met up. So, we're gonna come out to them in a couple of minutes. Yeah, we are. Uh, why am I getting nervous all of a sudden? Hey hey, it's okay babe. Tanaka could see that Inashida was fidgeting his fingers while a bead of sweat slid down the side of his face. He took this as a chance to take his hand in his own. Their fingers locked together and the warmth from each other's hand calmed the both of them down. I say let's go for it. Just like this. Oh okay. They smiled at each other before walking up the stairs to the club room. Right now, everyone on the Karasuno volleyball team was already getting changed in the club room. The only thing separating them from coming out to their friends was one door. Once they made it to the door, they confidently entered the room. The first person to look over at them was Nishinoya. He looked down at their interlocked hands. His mouth went agape. Bro, I feel like I'm missing something. Everyone reacted to Nishinoya's sudden words by turning their attention to the couple. All eyes were on them. Um, we're dating. Awkward smile. Yeah, we're boyfriends. Awkward smile. Everyone seemed to be stunned in place. There's more of you s? PFFT, Shoyo. You I'm so happy for the both of you. How did this even happen? Yeah, aren't you like obsessed with Kyoko? Ah, uh, Tanaka scratched the back of his head awkwardly. Well, he's obsessed with me now. Shut up. Ah, uh, this is so cute. I'm just confused. So you're really dating him on purpose in Ashida? Suga. LMAO. Suga-san why? I mean he's not that bad most of the time. Not you too babe. Ha ha ha. We're just joking around. I'm happy for you both. We all are. He. Thanks. Wait so are you like B or something? Oh, yeah. I am. And Inashida? Oh, I'm just very gay. I'm sure you all can relate. Wait. When did you two start dating? It's been a few months now. You kept this from me for months? 
I'm sorry bro. What? Were you scared? Actually, yeah. Oh. I know you all probably thought I was straight because I had a big crush on Kyoko. I didn't want you to question me about things when it's already so frustrating for me to explain. You don't have to explain anything. We're just happy you told us. Yeah, thanks. Both of you. After a couple of minutes, Daichi forced everyone to get ready for practice and told them that they could tease the new couple later. Both Tanaka and Inashita were relieved that they had finally came out to their friends. One week later, Tanaka and Inashita met up in front of the club room door. Tanaka had planned for them to arrive 20 minutes before any other teammates would get there. He pulled the keys out from his pocket and dragged his confused and annoyed boyfriend inside, shutting the door behind them. Tanaka if you don't explain to me exactly why you made me skip the last 20 minutes of class to come here, I'm gonna get angry. Aren't you already angry? Dot dot dot. Um, I brought you here because, you better not say you snuck me in here so we could make out. Because I won't give my consent. HMPH. Babe I'm so sorry for making you skip class but it's not like that. I promise to study with you for 2 hours if you forgive me. Inashita glared at him. 4 hours. Fine, now explain. Well, I have something for you. What? Like a gift? Yeah. This was the only private place I could think of to give it to you. I asked Daichi to let me hold the keys for today. They both sat crisscrossed, facing each other in the small room. Okay, what is it? Tanaka pulled the gift out of his bag and let his boyfriend unwrap it. It's a beanie. Yeah. Do you not like it? I got you one that matches my favorite one that I have. Tanaka. This is so sweet. Thanks baby. I didn't think you would actually like it. I'm happy. Let me put it on you. Haha. <laughs> okay. Inashida gave Tanaka the beanie and he put it on his boyfriend's head for him. He looked so adorable to him. He placed his hands on both of Inashida's cheeks and looked into his eyes. You're so beautiful. I really wanna kiss you. Inashida's face was already entirely red from blushing. Only for a little while. Inashida closed his eyes as Tanaka began to lean in for a kiss. Their lips met briefly and though Tanaka was hungry for more, the sound of voices outside of the club room startled them. Hurry up and open the door. Okay okay, I need to get the keys out of my bag. Hurry. I want to kiss you already. Soon, baby. Wait. What is it? I let Tanaka hold the keys for today since he asked. What? Why would you do that? I'm sorry, Tanaka? Yeah? You remembered to lock the door right? Of course. The door opened. Suga, it's already unlocked for some reason. Ah, uh, um, this is. They all stared at each other. Did you guys also come here to make out? Suga, ahem, sorry but what are you two doing here? We weren't making out. Yeah, I just wanted to give him a gift. I promise. Daichi sighed. Since we all got caught, let's agree to forget any of this happened. Yeah, we aren't just gonna gloss over how you two have makeout sessions in the club room are we? Well of course we are. It's fine babe, if we keep pushing, he's gonna make us do a lot of drills face with rolling eyes. The four of them awkwardly waited for the rest of the team members to arrive. Inashida and Tanaka would find themselves in many similar situations in the future now that they had come out. The end.